I want them to be true. Okay, you guys, and welcome back to Tatum World, you guys. Yes, you guys, we are going to be doing some crafting for Tatum. We're going to make sure that Tatum have all the wonderful things that she deserves and all the wonderful things that she needs. And let me tell you, T is going to need a bed. Yes, what beautiful, lovable doll don't need a bed so you're gonna see some of the material we're using we have some beautiful cloth with glittery it's so pretty it's pink of course you see a board here that we got which is made from a project board for a headboard you see some aluminum foil that we're using for a base to protect us as we use a glue gun it's a mini glue gun we have some glue sticks we have a pair of scissors you guys, we have all the material that we need. So, like I said, you guys, we're going to start off by working on the backboard first, the headboard. Yes, so what you're going to do, you're definitely going to make sure that you get pick up your glue gun. And you guys, try to preheat your glue gun by having it, um, you know, plugged up and turn on for about, um, I would say, a good um 10 minutes because it doesn't take that long for it to get good and hot because you want to start off with the glue hot. So when you start applying your glue and you start working on gluing everything, you want the glue to be nice and hot and everything so that you can just, you know, get this project going and make it happen. And you guys, I hope you're going to enjoy this video that I'm bringing you to today with this arts and craft because like I said, we want to make sure that Tatum receive and get everything that she need. And like I said, you guys, I want to welcome you back to another lip.
pretty pink with white material with a little metallic uh, glittery look. You know, I love me a little glittery for Tatum. And like I said, I bought this material, you guys. I got it from Walmart and I got it for, um, I got about a yard a yard and a half of material. It doesn't take a lot of material. I spent about maybe six bucks on this material. So like I said, you guys, here's your hot glue it. You want to fold all creases because you don't want to have to cut or trim anything afterwards when you get done. And the minute you put the hot glue on the surface of the material onto the board is going to immediately you guys go ahead and start sticking the glue i wear these little rubber gloves because it's always good to have some form of gloves so that you don't get glue in your hand and get sticky and it does have even though the glove is rubber and thin it helps with the little heat of the glue gun also you guys the board that i'm using i'm using a project board you know the project boards that um project boards that you can purchase from walmart or target even at the dollar store to do project school projects that's what i'm using i just cut the piece that i needed plus it was more um better with the money it made sense you know instead of buying some expensive cardboard or board i just purchase that it cost me like about two bucks and then you could get a lot of material from that i just cut it what i needed for the bike board of the day bed and that's what i'm doing here you guys so like i say you want to make sure you put glue on all the little spots you really don't want to leave any you know spots unglued just to make it be more supportive more supported and more se um secure so like i say you guys then you're gonna get another little piece of material just um, to cover the back of that and like I said you guys um, what I'm using is a mini glue gun you can use a large or mini I think it's safer with a mini glue gun because the bigger the glue gun the harder it's gonna get and then you just buy the little miniature glue sticks and you guys it tastes um not all tons of glue sticks but you're gonna at least need a pack a miniature pack where you got at least 10 in there because it does take a lot of glue but it's so much easier and simpler than trying to use a sewing machine or use a needle and thread so like I say you're gonna take this other little piece of material you're gonna cut just to cover up all those little pieces where you glued it and fold it over and then you know it you just lay it over and it hides it and it looks great you guys then like i said you put glue all over those little you know spots so you can put that material over it then you take your hand and you smooth it down and again get your glue gun and you want to put it around the edges so you you know basically want to have all the little edges actually glued down so it that it can look neat and like I said, you guys, um, sometimes as you're working with the cord, depending on where your cord is coming from, mine is coming across my working board. So, you know, you have to constantly make sure you got your aluminum foil paper holding still. Okay, now we're going to get a little creative with this. We're going to get some stickers. I chose some um, metallic, pretty medium-sized gold stickers that I'm actually going to spell out Tatum and put her name on her headboard to identify this is Tatum. It's going to be a headboard. How cute, right? Okay. So now that that headboard is done, we're going to move on and we're going to get our bed frame. Okay. So you guys, with this bed frame, I did not make this bed frame. I actually purchased this from Walmart. In the section where it's the My Life Dolls, they have these beds for 20 bucks. And it comes with the... Actually, the little thin mattress, the pillar and all that. And I didn't need that. I just wanted the frame. So, I purchased that. And I peeled everything off. So, as you can see, you turn the frame sideways. You put glue going all the way on the base at the top of the sides way of the bed. And then you're going to apply the headboard you just created. And then you are going to put glue already on the frame which that's what we have done and then you're going to take your hand and press that base to that frame and you want to hold it i kind of skipped through it but you want to hold it there for at least 60 seconds it doesn't take long for it to dry at all you guys like i said when you're dealing with a hot glue gun which is why i chose to do that it immediately sticks itself to whatever surface you're doing now we're going to take 
about a uh, a half. It's not even a half of a yard. It's a little like half of a half. And then you know that rectangular form. What it is, you got. It's a soft form, but not too soft. It's a little firm. You you cut it out. You want to measure it. Just take a ruler. I use the actually yardstick, and I think it was measured like about um. Eight, seven and a half, eight inches is what I did. And I measured it out to fit that frame of that bed. So then this is what I'm using for the mattress. You take another piece of material, enough to completely to cover over it. Pretend that you're wrapping a gift, a present, a box in shape of a rectangle. You're going to apply that glue. And like I said, you guys want to press down. Anytime you're applying that glue, you just want to press down and Take your hand and smooth across immediately, you guys. It dries, you guys. And like I say, you want to make sure you got your material nice and tight and firm, but not too tight because you don't want to ap apply too much pressure on the form because you don't want it all bumpy. But you want it enough where, you know, you don't have air or with the air pockets, whatever. And then it's like it's loose. So like I say, you want to put glue once you get that part down, you want to put glue, but you got everything sealing and everything real good, you guys. And um, like I said, you want to be careful with the glue because the glue is hot. And as long as you have gloves and you're being careful and it's not a rush job. You really, really, you know, want to take your time because anytime you're working with glue, you want to take your time and try to be as precise as you can. So as you can see, I just took it, applied my glue, I take my time. Turn the material over, press it down, and then I smooth it across with my fingertips real gently about two or three times. Now, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to glue my little extra little spaces that all the glue didn't pick up the way how I want it. Now, we're going to stand it up and we are going to, again, like we're wrapping gifts. You're going to fold it over real neat because you don't want any material that's just left hanging. Now, after you fold it, you're going to apply the glue just like we was doing before. Make sure you put enough glue, but not too much glue because it doesn't take a lot of glue. You know, you basically get your nice little, nice little line, you know, not too thin, but not too thick. Just a line going across and then you press and then you smooth across, like I say, two or three times. Look how, do you see how neat that is, you guys? So we're going to do the opposite side. We're going to follow in the same steps. We're going to pretend that we're wrapping a gift. We're going to fold it in. And you're going to have basically like a little material left. We're going to apply our glue real carefully. We're going to fold over, press a little bit, not hard. And then we're going to smooth across. And then all the little, the little spots, the area we think that we didn't get glue on it enough, just go by, add a little glue on the tip, and then press down. And smooth across. And see, like I say, you guys, it's really cute. Now, see, now we're going to look at our handiwork. And there is our mattress. Tatum bed now has a mattress to her day bed. Nice bed. Love it. Now, we're going to take that little bit of rectangle that we have. Again, it's the same material. It's a piece of a form. You guys, you can purchase this phone at Walmart. It comes in a, a really... Night size square. I think I spent about six, seven dollars. I mean, it's a huge bit square, you guys. So we're gonna do the same thing. Get a little material because we're actually gonna make the pillow now. So we are gonna make us a pillow because listen, what we love dog don't want a pillow with their mattress. And the best thing about it, being that you are making it yourself and you purchase your own material, it can match. How cute is that, right? So again, you're going to apply your glue and then you're going to fold the material over there very gently, but firm. You don't want to leave any bumps or spaces and you're going to spread out about two or three times. Now we're going to fold it over. If the material is too much, you can cut it down to get it a little smaller, which is what I'm doing. There's a little too much material. So we're going to go ahead and cut it. And you guys want to make sure you have a nice size of pair of scissors you want a nice large pair of scissors 
not a, a small pair because um, even when they're new scissors, when you're dealing with material, you want to have some nice sharp scissors. Again, this is why you want to make sure you have an adult present. I have an adult do this. If you're under the age 13, it's my suggestion, my advice that you have an adult do this for you. If you're 13 or older, you should be able to pretty much to do this. However, you still want permission. They have some type of supervision, supervision with it. You know, just going in because you are working with sharp objects and you are working with something electrical and you're working with hot glue, which can burn. So you want to be very, very careful. So again, you're going to pretend as if you're wrapping a gift, just a smaller gift. You're going to apply the glue. You're going to press. We are going to smooth down with our fingertips two or three times to make it dead nice and smooth, tight. Want to make sure there's no bumpiness, a loose material. Again, if you have a little too much material, you can cut it off. So right here, you're going to fold the top. You stand it up. You fold it in. You have one little piece of material that you're gluing. You're going to apply your glue. You're going to press down. And you're going to smooth across. And then, you know, you always check after you get done. So it's just a couple of extra pieces that you need to put a little more glue in a couple of little more spots. You want to do that. Because we don't want to leave anything unglued. Because, you know, we are going for cuteness and neatness yes so like i said you got this is so cute let me tell you tatum is going to love this bed and it's gonna look so great with her sitting in it laying in it. it's gonna be amazing so like i said we're gonna finish up this other side here you guys we're gonna put the glue press down very gently and then we're gonna smooth across and there we go you guys we have a nice beautiful matching pillow you guys this bed is looking great okay now we're gonna clean up our glue make sure you unplug the glue gun and keep the glue gun remaining on the aluminum foil because it's still hot now we're gonna get our two ribbons i had two ribbons which you guys it cost me less than nothing i think i spent less than two dollars i chose the ribbon spool of the of my choice and then i just cut me you know, a good like yard and cut it in half. And I'm going to tie it on each end of the bed post. So, you know, just give it a little snack because, you know, it is Tatum. And, you know, Tatum is about that glimmer, pretty. And, you know, we know Tatum love pink. And, you know, I love black. So I chose a cute little black and white polka dot ribbon, you know, just to tone down that pink a little bit. You guys, this bit is so uh adorable would you look at that amazing you guys and it could take you less than literally 20 to 30 minutes to create this now choose a material your choice i went with a material to actually match the bedding and um it's it's a thicker material more like a in between uh it's like like a blanket as if you buying a receiving blanket for a you know a child so what i did i chose this material because you know we love pink and um you want to get enough and you want to cut enough where it's enough for a nice size blanket for your dog to actually go over her and have some hanging off the bed because you know we're going for realistic too you guys you know and like I say, I paid, um, I think I paid like about six something for this material. You know, um, you go in the little sales area in the little uh, crafting area of Walmart. And uh, you can find they have all these materials. So I found that and I thought it was really, really cute. And there's the blanket, you guys. There is a bed that we just made for Tatum. So now she could be like all the other dolls in the store. We love you, Tatum. And you guys, you are.